All right, folks. Uh, let me show you something cool. Come on, TV. Come on. You see that? I did that. That power is coming from me. I won. I won. I did it. I thought about it. I visualized it. I actualized it. I got solar pa panels. I'm off the grid. I'm producing my own shit. Who is the fucking man? Me. I got my power and I ran on around right into my own 3,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I'm like a worm sucking his own wiener. None of this glomming off the system anymore. I'm making my own shit. Before, like some asshole, if I wanted power, I'd be like, oh, do you mind if I come plug into your thing and then I have to go outside and plug into someone's house? Not anymore, folks. I can plug into myself. Plug right up my own ass. That's what I can do. And make my own shit. I fucking win. Yes. Anyway, folks, I'm only done up to the inverter portion. And uh, before I show you the process in which to do it, uh, let me take you around the outside and uh, show you what all we did and how we got to the uh, place we are now. So uh, let's go outside and do that, shall we? All right, I have five batteries in my battery bank, but the two are in the front, the two house batteries. So to put the other three to here. And in these. Okay, these two guys, this is number five in the chain, four, three, so these two guys in parallel, that's two gauge wire running to the front of the ass end of the front two batteries in the battery bank. This is my solar ch charging wire. This is to the inverter. This is the ground. I know it's red, however, it uh, ran out of black wire, so I used uh, red and just taped it up. I know, pretty hokey. And uh, this guy goes to the alternator. Currently, I don't have the source from the generator hooked up yet. But I don't have intentions on running it a lot, but I will go to it, but it's coming out of the panel and I'm not quite sure which one it is at the moment. And I know this looks a little bit janky, uh, but it is just temporary. I'm going to put a metal pan down here. I need to drill a couple holes to vent these and that will happen shortly. Alright, and while I got you here, this isn't related to the battery bank, but it's a really cool feature of the Pace Arrow. If you look real closely in the back there, all the way in the back, way there in the back, wait for it. I have a tiny sexy lady who dances underneath there all the time. I don't know why she's there, but it makes me feel good that she is. Keep on dancing, little lady. Anyway, let's go check out the front batteries. See where I got all my wires run? I left my zip ties long so I know where they're at and I come back and tighten them real well and chop them all off. And they come up and around, up and under. I need to secure this one a little better here. Get that up and out of the way. And they come in and two. Like I said, here are the two wires. This guy and this guy that are going to number two in the chain. This I'm also going to secure so it's not banging around, but that is the other side of the inverter. I think this underneath it, this bit right here, this used to be the auxiliary start, but now it is cut off and not hooked to anything. So that might be something I need to attend to. Uh, yeah, and then the front guy from the chain is going to the starting battery. I know that's, uh, it should be going to that battery bank there, but there's not much linking those two. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I think that was in place of what the auxiliary start was supposed to do. But it's working right now, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. Uh, yeah, and then the other portion of the solar panel, the other wire, this fuse connection, is running to the first bit right there. So that's charging all those guys via solar. All right, today is about solar. Today I harness the power of the sun. So I'm gonna pull my, I got the, oh God, Overlander solar charging kit. Kits de solar de charge, or kits de charge solar. So I got uh, all this 
shit here, whatever this is. RVs have a lot of things, but floor space is not one of them. So I'm on my dad's t-shirt shop. Anyway, this is everything that's included in the Go Power, I don't trust the government, zombie apocalypse, off the grid kit. You get three solar panels and whatever the hell's in these boxes. So we're gonna open them up and see what we got. All right, they gave us some paper. All right, this is a box of some type. Um, oh, these are my RV clips, my roof, or my roof clips. Those are important. Uh, what the fuck. Warning: replace with glass T fuse. Okay. Dude, that's some heavy ass wire. Oh, these are wire connectors of some type, I guess. Uh, fuse block instructions. Tighten to 90. Caution. Over tightening may cause bolt. All right. Let's see what's in this other box. Your sine wave inverter. Oh, this is the transfer switch. A leg for the transfer. I already have a transfer switch. Oh, it's so bundled up so nice. It's just a dry erase board. They've taken me for a ride. Uh, it looks like a smashed, um, pretty smashed up uh, solar panels. What that looks like. So that'll be getting returned to uh, old Go Power there. It's not very nice. Hopefully the others aren't all beat up like that. That appears to be okay. It was actually packaged a lot better than the first one. This was a box within a box with styrofoam wrapped around it. Whereas this one, it had this, but it also had all this other shit crammed in there with it and not in a second box. So it's a Sunday, so hopefully I'm gonna call them tomorrow and I'm sure we won't have any issues because they're probably an upstanding company and will take good care of their customers. Especially for a high-powered man like myself with this high-powered YouTube channel. He wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of me. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get the third one open. It seems to, it, it contains all the clips to mount it to the... What I do know is I don't want to get too far ahead because I need to have those batteries that I also have to get to return to interstate battery. So I can't just have power flailing to nothing. But a lot of this stuff I can rough in and then... Another pain in the ass thing I gotta do is return this. What? Whatever. That's life. Electricity can be very dangerous. Installation should be performed only by a licensed electrician or qualified professional. So far, all I've managed to do today, uh, I cut my thumb, uh, the marker bled through, and now I have a picture of a man with a wiener on the side of my RV. Um, and I'm just really confused. I got a lot of shit. They send you directions, but they send you directions for about like 15 different systems and they all just kind of run together. So you're trying to figure out which one's yours. From what I can tell, that and I guess a lot of RVs, their batteries aren't all the way up in the front. So mine are all the way in the front. Ah, fuck it. Let's go in the RV and look. Alright, uh, we'll have to mount these two boxes. You go from the solar panel to these two dudes here. But you need two inches behind it, and I don't want I don't want wires hanging on my wall. I was gonna go through the vanity, but you only have my batteries all the way in the front, vanities all the way in the back. So I don't my my wires to come to this box, fine. But then I gotta run these all the way to the lead battery, which is down there. So that's pretty far, and then all the way back to the automatic transfer switch. I don't know. I'm debating on going, I could put it in this cabinet and then come down the inside of this, but that's still pretty good. It's going to interfere with the curtain or run along the other side of this. It's a little bit more hidden. Get one of those stupid cable tie things or cable hide things they have at Home Depot. 
I don't know, dog pound. And I also don't want to come out where my gas is because I don't want like a put a fuse or that kind of stuff in where my propane is. That doesn't seem like good business. I don't know, dudes. I don't know. Because this it could sit here. Because sort of in a way, I want this back in the vanity, but I also don't want these little red lights blinking all night while I'm sleeping, like I'm sleeping in a spaceship or on a submarine or something. I want it to still look like a bedroom. You know what I really wish is that I was smarter. I, really, <laughs> I wish I knew what I was doing. Uh, yeah, so I'm a pro I might have to mount these two dudes here. And then this will just all around be the captain, like the Millennium Falcon, just as I drive, just nothing but lights blinking around me. And then come down the outside of this and then get to the battery that way. They also only give you a limited amount of cables. In the cable, they give you cables to go from, they give you like 10 foot of nice two gauge wire. It's nice wire, but it's not going very far from the battery to the inverter. And the inverter I need to be way back there. And that cable is about uh, $4 a foot. And that's a lot of feet. This is going to be most upside down goddamn RV. <laughs> I'm going to spend $30 in order to power a $10 RV. So, but I think this might have to be where it goes. And then I could just screw through the ceiling here and then just have one hole to patch inside this cabinet. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what I got to do. This isn't really necessarily where I wanted to put it, but since it's the only place it'll go, I think it's perfect. Um, so I'm going to try to square this off here. It's pretty close to square. This one will go below it. I also bought this cool little saw. Um, I, used, I saw infomercials on these things a while back and I thought they were the stupidest thing ever. And then uh, I used one not too long ago. And now I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, so I recommend this saw to anyone who likes really cool saws. I don't even know, I'm not really sure what it's called. Alright homies, I got my wires cut, ready to hook them up to the panel, and uh, this is Luke proof, I don't know if you can see it very well, but they have a picture of a solar panel and a picture of a battery. Boy, I wish everything in life had pictures on it and not words. What a great world that would be. They might not be doing shit right now, but they look okay right there. It's alright, and it gives me the inside of the cabinet as a way to access them, and then I'll run down here the cable run alongside my curtain thing down past the couch out and uh, over to the battery so all right Kevron I'm gonna go up the other side and drill another hole or see if that's enough but I'm gonna feed these wires down to you and then when I do pull them on through there pull them on through I'm going to stick these two here because it doesn't get blocked by the air conditioner. I got them covered because they still take electricity even when they're not plugged into anything. It said if you got a plywood ceiling you can use the wood screws provided. I'm really hoping I don't screw through my ceiling. But... And then I'm going to put the third one once I return it in this wide open space right here. 
that should get us. I bolted everything together on the ground already. So I'm gonna take Doesn't have to be pretty. Around on the inside there too. My solar system may not work, but I don't want it to leak. All right, and anyone who's done any roofing is probably already ready to hit the dislike button, but I'll come back with a little plastic cover that goes over this. But for the time being, I'm just gonna fill it up. This is terrible, I know. I'm ashamed of myself. However, I don't have what I need to fix it right now. I'll do that right later. I just don't want it to leak tonight. All right, I'm trying to think, I gotta have enough to get from, okay, it's gotta go to the controller. No, I keep repeating myself. And then down the wall and out. It's like skeletons dancing. Them bones, them bones, them bones, them bones. Rattle, 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 them bones. Yeah! I fed that through there, and I'm gonna run it down to the floor, drill a little hole and get out here. Well, it's not up in here, and it's not under the wheel well from where I drilled through. I think it's currently in this unaccessible area right here which I hope is dead space and not some sort of fuel tank because that would be inconvenient. Galook fashion, I did the stupid thing first. I went straight down from where the cables are and it put me under something where I can't see anything so I decided to do this. I'm going to go out here by the side of the couch, keep her tight in the corner and go straight down into here because I can see underneath it. It's probably pretty dark where the camera is. Yeah you can kind of see that straight above this, uh, you get a straight shot into the wheel well, which will take me right over to the batteries. So, yeah, but then right down here, I'll just put a little cable hider deal, and then hopefully that'll take care of that. But look at that. It may not work, but fuck you if it won't be tidy. Jesus is like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I like that cable outside the wall. Kind of lazy. Well, fuck you, Jesus. You didn't even have electricity, you were a carpenter. In order to try to save a little money where I can, I'm just going to make my own little eyelet. Because I used uh, two gauge jumper cables. So I'm just going to take this, and if you see where the deal is, here I'll show you. We're just taking. So once I drill that hole out a little wider, save three dollars in your face, world. Well, by some miracle, I have enough wire to reach the battery with about none to spare. So thank you to the RV gods for that. So I'm going to hook these dudes up, and if they work, then that's good. I think that'll be good. Um, yeah, so we're, basically I don't really have a lot of sun today. I wasted my sunny days uh, playing grab ass and whatnot. So now I got a cloudy day, but I'm hoping this is still going to work. 
I got a new pair of clippers I gotta use. Huh? Or crimpers. Jeepers creepers. Would you check out them new cleepers? I got things a bit cleaned up. I took everything and ran to my lead battery. However, I noticed um, the guys at Interstate hooked a lot of things up to my starting battery. I know one would be, one's running off to the house batteries, one would be going to the alternator, and I'm guessing one is coming from either the generator or house power. So I'm not 100% sure, I'm a little confused by that. However, everything's hooked up, the charge controller and all that's hooked up, so I'm going to go turn the batteries back on and hope to Christ that it is working and nothing explodes. So we'll see. I don't know what this means, but that shit is blue now. So that seems good. So that's coming from somewhere. That's either sucking off my battery or sucking off the solar panels. So hooray me. So far, so good. Uh, this is plugged in, doesn't do shit, but I think that's the uh, sine wave. That goes to the inverter, so that does something to do with the inverter. So I think that wouldn't work until I get the inverter hooked up. So that means I gotta run another cable back up this way, but that's all right. I've already made a million holes, so that should work out okay. Uh, this isn't a big snake. This is actually welding cable that goes from the battery to the inverter, and then the inverter goes to the automatic transfer switch. But it doesn't, they don't give me necessarily a lot. I think it's just standard, looks like welding cable almost. But this stuff is expensive. It's very thick cable. Woo, snakey snake. So if you can see where the end is right there, uh, maybe I'll sh actually show it to you. See where the end is. That gets into that first thing, and I have to make it to basically right there to where the battery is. So this actually kind of puts me in the position of only having this dude here to put it in. However, I kind of like that one because it's right by the door and I get in there and I keep my little wares and whatnots and throw my boots in there if they're muddy, so it's kind of nice to have and I would rather not stick my inverter in there. All right, although I'm not overwhelmingly pleased with the situation, this actually really isn't that bad of a spot up here because uh, I can... This is steel, and I can actually screw it through here. I'm going to drive it through, drive the screws through, the drill, the, little, the bolts through. That way, I can through bolt it and put security heads on one side. So that way, if somebody does want to try to help themselves with my inverter, they'll have a hell of a time getting it out. And that way, too, I'll have really, if I open it up, I'll have a couple extra plugs here running off my battery. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so I can bring them up straight through right off here. I don't want to set it on the ground because I'm guessing. It's got water and whatnot splashing up in here, so I don't know. Up there on the side would be good, so I still have the floor space. Uh, well, the bitch of it is, is it's a big welding cable. It falls about like, probably about a foot short, which kind of sucks. Otherwise, because I don't want to go on this side of the wheel, there's too many moving parts in there. By the time I get it, if I come up over here and I button it up real tight, it's going to make it to about here, which won't get me to the battery. At least on this side, I got to put a fuse connection. I got to cut this anyway. So I could just cut it at the end and then just get about a foot of wire. I don't really want to splice this big thing. Yeah, so I should have enough line that if I run it, put it underneath the couch there, uh, I can do it without having to buy more cable, which is nice. Uh, underneath the couch isn't bad. I just store, like, blankets and whatever underneath there. So, yeah, it'll be seen. I think it might be close that I might have enough to get to the engine. Weirdly, as the engine is right there, if I felt like it, I could just go right through. But I want my cable running across the floor there. If I was real brave, I'd just go straight down and straight out. Which I might do. I might check it out. But I'm, I've already, again, screwed... I think the count now is about eight holes in this thing that are being that are not being used. So uh, I'd like to keep that number under ten, preferably. For those of you who don't know, the solar panel to the batteries, batteries to the inverter, inverter to the automatic transfer switch. But what I'll do first... Because I bought this wire from Lowe's, which the guy, it's kind of a, unnecessary because you can buy it by the foot and end up getting cheaper because I don't need a 
hundred foot of it, and that was ninety bucks. So I can take it back and get it for forty five. Uh, like I plug into the house, I'm just gonna take that. Like Van Freedom USA said, I'm gonna plug that straight into my inverter once I get that hooked up, just to see if it's operational. And then once that happens, I already have a hole for where that wire, the inverter wire goes to the other half of the battery bank. I can run that down, which is, seems to be right in my bed, and then try to figure out what this bullshit is. For the positive lead, I'm trying to avoid making the same mistake I made last time, and that's uh, screwing into this, whatever this void of dead space is right here. I will say these little bolts, the little bolts sticking out are for the couch. So that tells me where, these gives me a frame of reference. Well, the name of today is losing fucking tools and not being able to find tools. Sitting a tool down for 10 seconds and not being able to find shit. I don't know. Well, I spent half the day re undoing stuff that I had done before. I got the, I ran all the, the negative over this side. At least the solar panel, the inverter. Which I had to put sidewardsly because it wouldn't fit. I couldn't get the couch to close. Yeah, uh, I could get a lot more done if I could find my wire cutters or my Allen wrenches or goddamn anything that I just had in my hand. Yeah, trial and error, my friends. Uh, which is code for screwing a lot of holes in. Uh, right now, the count is eight holes. Unused. A neutral, uh, positive ground. And this shit has, uh, yellow, black, white, red. So this is a different, different big boy wire. So it doesn't, I could, where we're going to stick these other extra wires and come to the other side. Just, just up my ass. Just in my ass. Is that what you want me to do? Go power? Doesn't make any sense. But, what I'm thinking, because if you see about right here on the window, that's down below, that's above the batteries. And there's really no reason I can't put it under the couch. I got plenty of storage in here, I don't need that. That bit, I got storage here, I, have I got storage for days, friends. I got empty cabinets. So yeah, I'm gonna stick the inverter here. And if you look at this thing, I got plenty of this. Anyway, I got to go buy another Allen wrench. It's fucking freezing outside today, too. Sucks. My ass. Yesterday was beautiful, and I'm driving around Granger. However, I did, I tried to get some 4 out cable, which is expensive. Very expensive. And by moving the inverter, I was able to use the two welding cables that came with the pack. So, I actually saved about $210. Well, I didn't save shit. I actually didn't have to spend $210 that I thought I had to spend, that I had already spent on what anyway I consider it a win either way I'm gonna uh, seal up all these holes and uh, household or RV it's good to shove some steel wool in there before you do it that's for rodents and such especially because they could follow the wires up into it and they can chew through wood and wires and cheese and peanut butter and chocolate bars and pasta and carpet all kinds of stuff but steel wool when they start chewing through it it's like <laughs> starts messing with their gums so then they back away they back away slow so yeah so i shove this down inside the hole here don't look at my ass when i'm in here okay and then i go buck nasty with the silicone don't look at my ass again i know you're gonna look at my ass you guys are looking at my ass Very quickly, let me show you what we got. Uh, pretty much done. The solar panels are pumping. The run into the batteries. The batteries are set up correctly where it goes off the right end of the, pair, the negative of the end of the series or the whatever the hell. The chain of batteries in parallel and the, all the positive to the front battery of my series of batteries. And uh, yeah, what well, I got you here. This is where. The inverter is sitting tucked right in there and right now I, I just have it a little power strip um, I'm gonna hardwire I'm gonna go down 30 amp wire out 
And I'm just going to run that over to next to where the automatic transfer switch is. And then hopefully bring in a ringer, someone a little smarter than me. I can run it to the leg they gave me. I'll wire this up, screw it next to it. But that'll be an individual video. This printing thing is probably already too long as it is. And uh, But I really want to uh, show you quickly what this thing does. And I will say I do recommend the old Go Power thing so far. If I can figure out how to do it, you can figure out how to do it. Um, right now, if you look at it, it's probably too blue, but what it says is uh, 12 volts. Right now, I am at 85% battery. Come on, buddy. And see if I can get, tell me how much load I get from the sun. All right, and right now I'm bringing in 14 amps from the sun. I don't know what that means, but I think it's good. Uh, and if I can turn, and then you, when I want power, uh, my power is kind of on demand. Yeah. So that's nice. So my inverter's on. Like last night, I ran my computer all night, and I only brought my battery down about 5%. And usually, uh, they use a pretty good amount of electricity when you're running all your Adobe programs and such. But yeah, so far, a pretty sound investment. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's not perfect yet. But yeah, so far, so good. Anyway, if you got any questions, that sort of shit subscribe that sort of thing i like that uh anything like that uh yeah comment below tell your friends bring a buddy who knows anyway uh thanks for watching and uh you guys take it easy